2001, we were called to babysit the conjoined twins prior to the surgery. That's why when my daughter and myself arrived to UCLA and we babysit them. On the first day, I met Jenny Hall, which is the mother of the other one. And so I was just a volunteer, and I was lucky enough to be to fall in love with two little girls and really be involved with their case, why they were here conjoined, and then and then obviously afterwards. So. Uh, as as all the couples, all the marriages have, we were facing some problems. One day in the morning, we were about to sign the divorce with my wife. That was in the morning. That afternoon, that same day in the afternoon, I was called to volunteer to take care of Teresita, and I say yes. My wife says, what are you saying yes if we are about to sign the documents? And I said, just take a look. If you don't want it, I'm going to take care of my take care of her by myself. When she saw Teresita, she agrees with me and she said, let's put aside our differences and let's see what happens. I, I really, really love her. I mean, I mean, something that I like to do at night is she's asleep already. I go into her room and I just lay down to her and, and, and I don't know, it's just this really awesome feeling of peace and, and just quietness and everything's just calm. It's great to see the girls, it is. Uh, to see her swimming in the pool, that's pretty damn amazing. You know? so, I, I was pretty impressed by watching her. Was, what was great about this is actually it just went just like we planned. You know, that's rare. And nine years ago, literally today, these girls were separated by this wonderful team behind us. So what a glorious day for them. It's, yes, it is important to establish a personal relation. And I have a personal relation with, I think, most of many, many of my, of my patients. But I don't want to emphasize my role in, in the long thing that is their lives, you know? I mean, their lives is uh, being born, their lives is being fed, their lives is being loved, their lives is being, uh, somebody pays for their tuition, somebody sends them to the school, somebody goes to the soccer games with them, and yeah, and there is one somebody who did surgery on them. But that, I, I am against this uh, sort of, uh, in, in the shrining of the, the doctor as the person who is the most important for that, for that child. Hi, girl. How are you? It was just really a thrill to see like their zest for life. And um, I mean, you know, we complain about things every single day and what goes wrong. And these little girls, they just don't complain. It's like life, they're so grateful for life that um, it's a really a treat to watch.